Hello Mathematics students, in this tutorial we are going to look at problems related to the topics covered in week 4. And so these are the topics and we will begin with our first question. Here we would like the minimum value of y for this particular quadratic function. And first let's put down the quadratic function in its standard form. The standard form would be y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. In which case our particular equation, the one that is given here would give us a is equal to 1, b is also equal to 1 and c is equal to 2. We are looking at the minimum value. Now because the x square coefficient a is 1 that is a is greater than 0 so our parabola will be in this form if a were lesser than 0 it would be inverted it would be a downturned parabola but right now it is in this form and the minimum value is going to occur at this point which is the vertex which we know to be minus b by 2a and so we know our vertex for this particular equation is minus 1 by 2. And the value of y at minus 1 by 2 would be the minimum. So I can write the minimum is equal to y of minus b by 2a, which in this case is y of minus 1 by 2. And if I substituted that, I would get minus 1 by 2 the whole square minus 1 by 2 plus 2 which is essentially 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 2 which gives us 2 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 8 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 7 by 4 and that is essentially 1.75. So this point here, it is now, we know it to be minus 0.5 comma 1.75. Now they are asking us for the x-intercept and this is what we need to observe about the x-intercept. The point minus 0.5 and 1.75, assuming this is 1 and this is 2, this is minus 1 of course. So negative side and this is minus 2. So minus 0.5 is going to be somewhere here. And uh, on the y-axis this would be 1. And this would be 2. 1.75 is somewhere here. So our vertex point is here. And from here we know that this is an upward parabola. Which is going to be something like this. And that means it never touches the x-axis at all. There is no x-intercept for this parabola. And lastly, it is asked to find the length of the line segment on the straight line passing through the y-intercept of the given curve and the point minus 2 comma 4. So minus 2 comma 4 is somewhere over here. And we need to find this point here, the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is easy to obtain. Since our curve is y is equal to x square plus x plus 2, y-intercept is obtained when the curve cuts the y-axis. That is when x is equal to 0. So y of 0 is 2. Therefore, our intercept is actually 0, 2. And the point we are looking at is minus 2 comma 4 and it is the length of this line segment that we require and that line segment we will get by using the Euclidean distance formula it will be minus 2 com minus 0 the whole square plus 4 minus 2 the whole square which is essentially root of 4 plus 4 that is root 8 which is 2 root 2 units.